For gaseous systems that are in equilibrium, it is possible to write an equilibrium expression. This expression is known as a KP expression. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to calculate the value of KP for a gaseous system that is in equilibrium. When a reaction reaches equilibrium, it is possible to write an equilibrium expression. Consider this example where nitrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas to produce nitrogen monoxide. When this system is allowed to reach equilibrium, an equilibrium expression may be written. In this case, the equilibrium expression is known as a KP expression. In a KP expression, the partial pressures of the products and the partial pressures of the reactants are used in the calculation. However, the law of mass action still holds firm. In other words, in the KP expression, the coefficients that are in the balanced equilibrium equation are also used as exponents. Consider the following equilibrium partial pressures where the partial pressure of the nitrogen monoxide is 0.050 atm and the pressure of oxygen gas is 0.330 atm and the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas is 0.150 atm. This information may now be used to calculate the KP for this equilibrium reaction. Simply insert the values into the KP expression where the partial pressure of the nitrogen monoxide is found to be 0.050. This value is squared. Then simply multiply the partial pressures of the nitrogen and the oxygen, which are 0.150 times 0.330. Then divide the numerator by the denominator to calculate a Kp value for this reaction to be 0.051. By now taking the reciprocal of the Kp value for the forward reaction, it is possible to calculate the Kp value for the reverse reaction. Taking the reciprocal of 0.051 will yield the Kp value for the reverse reaction to be 19.0. Exiting the system. 